Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing the autocomplete feature in Takinter for the combo box widget. Now, autocomplete is a pretty important feature nowadays in modern GUI. Unfortunately, in Takinter, it's not exactly a native feature. It's something that is actually needs to be implemented. You can actually implement it yourself if you think about it. It's not actually that hard. Or what you can do is use a third-party module like TDK widgets. This is a module that I recently found which has a few interesting features such as autocomplete. It has an autocomplete module from which you can uh, import. Basically we will do from import autocomplete. It has quite a few of these. So it has the combo box, entry, and entry list box. So we're concerned with combo box right now but entry is also uh, I think an option that you guys will find interesting. Similar logic. So this isn't going to be a very long video. We just need to create a combo box the way we normally would. We pass in root. Then we pass in to the complete values parameter. We pass in our options. Then we do combo box dot pack. And then we just uh, define an event. So we can just do combo box dot bind. Combo box selected. Okay, this is a custom event from this module, then we just do on select, we'll define this function, on select, then we'll just keep it very simple, and whatever is selected, we can just print it out. So selected option is equal to combo box dot get. Again, this is just how we do it normally for any other combo box. The TTK one, the TTK one is the one that we normally use, right? So all I'll do is do current option, just nice little prompt, and we're good. So let's see whether whether the autocomplete worked out. Okay, now that looks really tiny, so I'm just gonna add in some padding, so this looks a bit nicer. All right, there we go. So now let's take a look at our options. So we have like a pineapple. Let's see whether the autocomplete works. I'll type P. Okay, it's giving me peach, I type I. Okay, there we go, pineapple comes in, see? So if I just click in, let me just see if the enter key works. I just cl click enter and yeah, the the whole thing just auto-selected pineapple. Now, this is an example of a pretty great feature that you would you know want and you would want your customers, the clients, or your, your users to also have, right? So if you guys are interested in more videos like this, like. The, what we just had here with autocomplete, I have another video that's basically about searchable combo boxes. So that, for example, if I typed P in here, then um, th that video that I have, it's about searchable combo boxes. If you type P, then the options that begin with P will all show up uh, underneath over here in the dropdown. So basically, it's like a filterable combo box. You guys can check that video out as well. It's pretty similar to this one, actually, in the concept-wise. So I do advise you guys to go check that out. All right? With this, we'll end the video. Bye.